The last time that I seen you, we was all at the show, and that's when we had um got the news about E Dot. How you been going through? Damn, I forgot you. That was the last time I seen you. Yes, work. I was there. I forgot. Cool. Oh, you was there. I'm nice. thinking that I'm thinking <laughs> pictures and shit. Yeah, yeah you yeah, was yeah. there. That was yeah, last time I seen you, game. Bro, I was cold. Like, that shit was just. You stayed for the rest of like the. Niggas didn't even stay. I don't even know what happened. You know, I know y'all got in the car. I left too. Once I, once I left, I found out what happened. So like, like I know I ran off stage. You ran off stage. Then everybody was trying to see why you had left. And then Dee, Dee found out last, but he was doing a meet and greet. Remember? You probably don't. Know so that. like, I like they were still performing though. Like no, we was done performing. It was but we was about to do the meet and greet. I think. I was still like. It was still musical. Yeah, because they, they wanted y'all to keep going. But sometimes it was like, no, nah, we got to do the meet and greet. We got to do the meet and greet. And then niggas started answering the phones. And then, yeah. You got the call? You got a call? Too. I got a call once I got into the city. I got a call from Noodles because he told EK, you know. What? Yeah, that's how I found out. What, you, what was your first reaction? I just was crazy, bro. Because y'all all wasn't even on fit good terms. So that shit was just. Yeah. I was still speaking abroad. Though. I was. Still I literally had spoke to him two days before that. What? And he said he was going to go, but niggas didn't invite him. Same shit. What? Yeah. And I was like, nah, you should still go. Gangster. See, so I just tell you for, for yourself, man. Yeah, I definitely told him to still go. What? Yeah, but that shit was, yeah, that was a lot. So, how you been going through it? How you been getting through it? Just, um, I'm trying to get, uh, I ain't gonna lie, Koi. I just be, just, I'm just here. Like, I just be just living day by day, just going through it day sure. by day. Yeah. Think about my son 24-7. Word. No, I stop. He definitely was keeping this shit going, bro. So. I feel like. He definitely was, but like a lot of y'all niggas that like, you know, it's a lot of people that I see, you know, saying my son fell off. Man, niggas wasn't even just like, it's just like my son dying right there showed me a lot, mm -hmm. a whole lot. I, that's why I really, I could say that I really like, I changed in a way, mm -hmm. different. Yeah. Or fake love. Or it's a lot of fake love when my son was on this earth. Or mm, I feel like I I hear what you're saying. How do you feel about the um separation now? I wouldn't say it's separation, but like I said, not with not with the hell. I'm talking about remember E K O oh, y'all. Oh, 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 that yeah. That's crazy too, Koi. That showed me their true colors. That showed me like. He's Fake love too. I was just on the phone with him the other oh. day. Oh wow! Like yo, bro, like <laughs> he be so mad at you right now. Gotta be mad tight at you right now. Like you know it, bro. You know it in your heart. I'm telling him, like you know it in your heart. Like yeah. you know my son would be jacking you right now. Like yes he would. Yes he would. For me, bro, I was talking to bro. I, we was having a real like we wasn't even politic, you know. We was talking yeah. about like oh shit. Yeah. We was dead talking like about like yeah the separation and shit, but we wasn't really talking about too much about that. But the separation and shit, yeah, that showed me a lot of niggas' true colors, word. And that's the talk of the town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.